processor organization and register organization okay so we all know that okay so processor is responsible for fetching the instruction from the memory and then process the instruction and write the result back into the memory okay so this video we are going to learn about the cpu structure okay and the structure of the cpu along with the system bus and the internal structure of the cpu and then what are all the different types of register okay so the first one okay it is all about the responsibility of cpu okay so what are all the functionality that will be carried out by the cpu the first one okay so the cpu should be is responsible to fetch the instruction it should be able to fetch the instruction from registers or memory okay or it could be from the cache memory the second one it is called as interpreting the instruction okay so what do you mean by interpretation it is nothing but decoding the instruction okay so decoding the instruction so that the processor will be able to understand whether it is going to perform an addition subtraction or multiplication and the third functionality is fetching the data so the next one the processor is fetching the data okay so where it should fetch the data it should fetch the data either from the input output module or from the memory okay and the next one is processing the data okay so processing the data is the cpu is performing an arithmetic or logical operation okay and the last operation is write data okay write data after processing the results are stored in the memory okay so these are all about the functions of cpu next one we are going to see is about the diagrammatic representation for the cpu along with the system bus okay so we all have learned okay quite a lot of time in our regular classes okay so system bus it, it is the combination of address bus data bus and control bus okay so address bus it is it is um, necessary to carry the address and data bus is necessary in order to carry the data into the processor and out of the processor okay so and control bus is mainly used for coordinating all these functionality okay so within the cpu what is available we have an alu registers and control unit okay so what is the functionality for alu to perform the arithmetic and logical operation okay and then registers it is mainly used for temporarily storing the data during any computation and the next one control unit control unit is responsible for moving the data into the processor and out of the processor next one is the cpu along with the internal structure okay so here in this diagrammatic representation we are able to see that there is a collection of registers to perform the temporary storage of data during the computation and then we have the control unit okay so here inside the arithmetic logic unit we have lot of a uh, small small register okay so we have the status register and we have the arithmetic and logical unit okay which is the main component to perform the arithmetic and logic operation okay so here what is most important is the connectivity between the control unit registers and the alu okay so he, here we have an internal cpu bus okay so which is internal to the processor there, there is a bus which is there internal to the processor in order to connect the control unit and the registers with the alu component the next topic what we are going to learn okay it is the register organization so far we have seen about the cpu organization now we are going to learn about the register organization okay so register we all know that it comes top in the memory hierarchy okay so because it is able to uh, store the data okay so even though it is very small in memory it is very faster in processing as well as the cost per bit is also 
very more okay for register when we compare with the other memory devices okay so register there are two different types of the register okay so the first one it is called as the user visible register and the second one it is called as the control and the status register okay so what do you mean by this user visible register okay so these are all the registers which are very visible to the assembly language programmers and normal user okay so why it is used in order to reduce the number of memory references if you want to any store store the data temporarily we can store it in the register and perform the computation in order to minimize the memory reference and the next one it is the control and the status register okay so control and the status register it is mainly used by the control unit in order to coordinate all the operations such as the data movement into and out of the processor so now we are going to see about the different types of the user visible register so what are all the categories of the user visible register the first one it is called as a general purpose registers okay so these are all the register which is mainly used in order to perform your all your functionality or it is used for a general purpose so what do you mean by general purpose example if you would like to uh, store the floating point numbers so during that time we can make use of the uh, general purpose register and the second one data okay so data it is a type of a register which holds the operand which is available along with the instruction okay so maybe add r1 comma 10 okay 10 is an operand which will be stored in a data register and the next one is an address register which always points to the top of the stack okay so that is about the address register the last one it is called as a condition code okay so what do you mean by this condition code which is a register whose bits will be set by the processor so after the computation okay if the processor accounts if it gets any positive value or if it gets a negative or if it gets a overflow bit okay so that will be stored in the condition code so these are all the types of the user visible registers so the next one is control and status register okay so control and status register which is used by the control unit as i have explained in order to coordinate all the data movement and then the computation okay the first one is program counter which holds the address of the next instruction to be fetched from the memory okay and then instruction decoding register okay so this register it holds the most recently used instruction and the third one memory address register it holds the address of the instruction and then the memory buffer register okay which holds the word to be read from the memory or written into the memory okay so we have learned about the different types of the register thank you all Thank you.